In this video, we'll go over building a searchable and paginated list of courses for an e-learning platform using Inertia and Laravel. Here we have a fresh Laravel installation with Inertia set up using a preset package. Make sure you check the link in the description. I've also created a course model and seeded a database with a few records so we have something to work with. First things first, let's make a new courses controller. So php artisan make controller versus controller. And now let's add the route pointing to the index method of the controller. So we're going to go to web route get courses courses controller class index and name it index. And let's import the course controller class. We open our newly created controller and add the index method, which should return an inertia response that is composed by a page component name and the props we wish to pass in. So it will be public index and return inertia render. And we'll go by wishful thinking and imagine that we already have an index course page component that accepts a courses object. So it will be index courses, courses, and course paginate. And that should be it for now at least. Next, we should make that wish come true by actually creating the index courses page component. So let's go to resources, chairs, pages, and copy the already existing home component. So index courses. From now on, we can think of this component as just being a regular Vue.js component that receives courses as a prop. So courses. And let's remove the boilerplate here. And if we go in the browser, visit the courses route, open developer tools the view developer tools and let's see what we get so we have the index courses component that receives courses as an object it contains the pagination links and the actual data which contains the uh, courses back to the editor we can iterate through the courses to display them on a page so we'll be using a table for that so let's add a heading ID, title, and description. And here will be our V4. So we'll have courses, course in courses dot data. And course at ID, title. I keep typing name for some reason, although it's title and description. We go back to the page and refresh and I'll have the courses. Let's add some quick styling to these. So we'll remove the padding and round it. And let's style the heading. That already looks better, although the table needs to be full width. And a trick we can use for the rows to make them more legible is this one, where we give it a background on each odd row. Okay, that looks pretty nice. Or it doesn't look nice, but it's something. The next step is to add in the pagination links, which we can do it like so. Partial link f, which is the courses that next page URL. This will be our next page and prev page URL. Which is the previous page. 
this should be first. And let's add some spacing between them. Okay. So no previous link, but we have a next link. So here we have it. Finally, it would be nice if we can search these courses by their title. We'll be doing that by sending a request parameter with the term we want to search by. So let's write this where clause in the controller. So we'll be accepting the request object. And we can do something like this. When request term query and term. Basically, this function will be executed whenever we pass in a term in our request parameters. So we can say query where title like and we add in percentages term. We can test this in the browser by manually passing the term parameter. So term Let's say cloud, which as you can see, it's working. So if we don't send any term, all the results are there. And if we pass in Hector, for example, the courses will be filtered by name. Now to send that search term, we need an input field. So let's add one like so. I already have one prepared behind the scenes. So we'll have the, the model, which will be a term. Let's also add it in the data. And if we refresh the page and check the index courses component, you see it's there. To make it functional, we should listen to the input key up event and trigger a method that will send in a request along with the term passed in. So we can do that like so. Go to the input and do key up and search. So whenever the key up event is triggered, the search method is called. So add in the method. And this will call this inertia inertia dot replace this route courses that index and we pass in the additional term parameter. Let's go and browser and refresh and start typing. Looks like it's working. Working just fine. But if you go to the network tab, you'll see that we have a bunch of requests here sent. And ideally we should send less of these. You could do that by writing a debounce or a throttle method on your own, or you can use lodash for that. So import from lodash, and lodash comes with a method called throttle, which takes the function as the first argument and the time to wait between calls as a second argument. This is in milliseconds. So now if we refresh and start typing, you'll see that a lot less requests are getting sent in. So that's it for now. I hope it was helpful. See you next time.